I'm not the only one interested in the Mason Greenwood case. Despite his success as a young and talented footballer, details about his current situation are scarce and media coverage is limited. I became curious after seeing online whispers and rumors, and decided to do my own research to uncover the truth. By gathering information from various sources on the internet, we will provide you the full story of the English football wonder kid. Mason Greenwood's football journey began at the tender age of six, when he was discovered by Manchester United scouts while playing for Westwood Juniors. His raw talent and impressive performances caught the attention of the big clubs, and soon, he found himself joining Manchester United's development school in Halifax. While at the academy, he learned various skills and tricks for powerful shots with both feet in the games. As he progressed through the academic ranks in different athletics, he entered under 13 competitions and broke Britain's 100-meter record of his age group. As he grew older, he continued to make a name for himself by breaking records and winning accolades in various age group competitions. In the 2017-2018 season, Mason joined Manchester United's under-18 squad and took the league by storm, scoring an impressive 17 goals in 21 games and becoming the U18 Premier League North's top scorer. He was also named Player of the Tournament after leading his team to victory in the ICGT Trophy in the Netherlands. The following summer, Mason and his team traveled to the United States for their preseason tour, where he made his non-competitive debut and showed the world that he was ready for the big stage. And just a few months later, he signed his first professional contract with Manchester United and was selected by coach Jose Marino to train with the first team. In March 2019, at the age of 17, Mason made his competitive debut for Manchester United in a 3-1 win against Paris Saint-Germain in the UEFA Championship League, becoming the second youngest player to represent the club in the European competition and the youngest ever in the Champions League era. He continued to make history by becoming the club's youngest league debutant in a 2-0 victory against Arsenal. Greenwood had the makings of a football legend with his natural talent, impressive performances, and goal-scoring abilities. However, his actions in his personal life have cast a shadow on his career and raises questions about his future as a professional athlete. It all started to go downhill for Greenwood during the pandemic when he and his girlfriend Harriet Rosman broke up. He had explained that it was a mutual breakup and that there were no hard feelings. But a friend of Harriet came out and stated that there were many issues in that relationship, and it was definitely not the best relationship. Was this a foreshadowing of what was about to come? But this does not compare to what happened next. The situation took a turn for the worse when Greenwood was selected to play for the national team in Iceland. Just two nights after the match, he and his teammate Phil Fodden made a grave mistake and met with the Icelandic model Nadia Gunnars de Tier and her cousin Lara Claussen in the England team hotel. Lara has since given an interview to the Daily Mail in which she revealed details about her night with Fodden. Now, Nadia has opened up about her heated night with Greenwood. Mason kissed me and things got pretty heated. Nadia, a Miss Universe Iceland finalist last year, told The Sun. Lara also booked a room and spent the night with Manchester City's Fodden. We could hear them laughing and having fun next door, Nadia said. Mason tried to call Phil and he didn't pick up, so Mason went into their room. He took some videos of them, including Phil kissing Lara on the cheek and holding hands. Mason also had a video of Lara in her underwear. Following the incident, Greenwood was not recalled to the national team, while Fodden returned to play after just two months. This raises the question about what else the team and management may have known about the incident and its potential impact on Greenwood's career. However, the following year, Greenwood began playing again for Manchester United, had a resurgence of form, scoring 8 goals and providing 1 assist in 11 matches for Manchester United. Despite his efforts though, the team ultimately lost the Europa League final. However, his luck seemed to change after that as his performance dipped with only three goals in 21 matches, raising questions about what may have contributed to this decline in form. On January 30, 2022, it was confirmed that something was seriously amiss with Mason Greenwood. Harriet Robson, his ex-girlfriend, posted several stories on Instagram displaying cuts and bruises on her arms, captioning them to anyone who wants to know what Mason Greenwood does to me. Additionally, Harriet Robson released audio recordings of her conversation with Mason Greenwood, in which the striker is alleged to have attempted to assault her. 
Use your fucking legs up! No, I don't wanna have s The audio quickly spread online, and the incident was met with widespread condemnation. People were in utter shock as the audio exposed a side of Mason that no one knew existed. However, an unusual twist occurred when Harriet's father released a statement, stating that Harriet had never intended to release these videos and that he had told her to take them down. This raised questions about why a father would do this and suppress evidence of his daughter's alleged abuse by a celebrity. Furthermore, instead of defending his daughter and ensuring her safety, Harriet's father went on to defend Mason's character, stating that he is like part of the family and that their relationship had been bumpy recently. This statement was met with criticism, as it seems to prioritize the reputation of a celebrity over the safety and well-being of one's own child. It is important to remember that this is a serious matter and should be treated with the gravity and sensitivity it deserves. So what is happening now? Manchester United footballer Mason Greenwood is facing serious allegations of attempted rape, assault, and controlling and coercive behavior and is due to stand trial in November 2023 as confirmed by a court. The 21-year-old player was arrested in January 2022 following the release of videos online. He was granted bail and is set to attend a pre-trial hearing on February 10, 2023. The trial is expected to last for 10 days. During the hearing, Greenwood confirmed his personal details, and the court was informed that the trial will take place in November 2023. As soon as the allegations surfaced, Manchester United suspended Greenwood from playing or training with the team, and sports firm Nike suspended and later terminated its sponsorship deal with the player. And even video company Electronic Arts also confirmed his removal from the active squad on its FIFA 2022 football simulation. In better news, Harriet has received an outpouring of support from the public, as well as support offered by the Greater Manchester Police. This is a positive step in her healing journey as she moves forward from this traumatic experience. Mason, on the other hand, is facing the consequences of his pretended actions and will have to face the legal system. The Harriet case serves as a powerful reminder for all of us. The fact that Harriet has received an outpouring of supports show that society is becoming more aware of the importance of supporting victims of abuse. On the other hand, it also serves as a reminder that perpetrators of abuse will be held accountable for their actions, whoever they may be. It will be intriguing to see the outcome of the court's decision and how it will impact Mason's career and life.